Today we're building one of my dream projects. Hey Provider Preppers, this is Jonathan and today we're building one of my dream projects. This is a rainwater harvesting system. This is something I've wanted for many years because I see the value in being able to take that rainwater and turn it into usable water for our family. So come along for the ride. This is site number one right here. About 40% of our roof area drains through this downspout which will come right down here and the tank will sit right down here. This will be about 1100 gallons of storage. This is site number two and between these two downspouts on either side of me here this drains about 60 percent of our roof area. This is going to come down and that tank will sit right in front of me here and will provide about 1400 gallons of storage. This is the bulkhead fitting that will fit on the tank and this will adapt that so that we can use schedule 40 pipe. Okay, we're just going to put the bulkhead fitting in now. We've got the hole drilled. And we'll put the bulkhead fitting on. And this will be the little adapter that will convert it to Schedule 40 PVC. Okay, that'll do. This is a downspout adapter that'll adapt the rectangular downspout to pipe. And this is a fern co coupler that will allow us to connect that together. I want to introduce my friend Steve. Steve has come to help with this project today and uh, it was just a reminder to me how important community is and how we can all work together. So what brought you here today? Why, why did you want to do this? Uh, good question. I'm I'm, uh, I'm curious to see how, how this uh, works for you. And um, besides, I had an agreement that uh, if you took an old freezer, I'd come in and uh, bury it for you. And as long yeah. as I'm here, I might as well put these in. <laughs> Just a minor addition. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's going to be a great project, and, and thanks to Steve. Here we've 
backfilled around the tank with sand and sand over the top. Now we're putting native material back in. You can see the exit pipe going out the, the west end there and we're ready to start another project. are in the ground. This is really exciting for me. This has been years and years in the coming for me. So I am so excited and it's all credit due to Steve. Did it take as long as you thought it would? Um, it was it was faster actually than I thought getting it done. A lot slower than I'd hoped. All the years of thinking about it, dreaming about it, and here we are. We got her done. So we got one tank in the first day. Um, that went with a few challenges, learning curve that we go through, but we harvested seven inches of water in there last night, somewhere probably around 150 or 200 gallons. So we, we made some real progress. It's great. Yep, and um, day two, we, we put in the biggest tank and it's uh, almost done except for the manhole extension that hasn't come yet due to supply shortages something that we're ex experiencing in our world today so um, you know this all started with the desire to take your mother's <laughs> freezer and put it in our ground a, here a freezer that doesn't run and we didn't want to take it to the dump so thank you yeah we we took it off their hands to put it make it into a root cellar and he ended up putting in a rainwater harvesting system, and then we still didn't get the freezer in the ground. So that'll happen in another time, and One we'll probably days. make another video for that. <laughs> so uh, anyway, great project. I'm so excited, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch this thing mature and happen, and yeah, we'll, we'll report again. 
Anyway, question of the day. Have you ever thought about rainwater harvesting? Something that you could do? Maybe on a smaller scale, maybe on a bigger scale? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.